Okay, so once the 30 days is over, we're gonna break down the price, okay? Per qualified call. Okay, it's uber important as soon as you hit day 30, as soon as the day is ending, You want to stop the ads after day 30. Why? Because your client is starting to rely on this, right? Your client is starting to see this happening all day, right? Every day. Oh, I got a lead yesterday. Oh, I got a lead today. It's getting better and better. The quality is getting good. I like this, right? You want to stop the ads after day 30. Why? So that there's a reason for the prospect to meet back with you to talk about how you're going to move forward together, okay? So basically after day 30, you break down the stats, you get on the meeting with your client, okay? On You break down the stats um, to come to the price per qualified call. And guys, you need to walk your customers through this so that they understand it, okay? Mr. Prospect, in order for us to always be talking about the same thing, we need to define what a qualified call is. Right? And you're just going to simply take them through this. Right? Mr. Prospect, you would agree that that is a qualified call, correct? They're going to be like, yeah, that, that, that's a qualified call. Great. Okay? Then you're going to take them through the numbers, and you're going to show them the details of how you came up to this. Okay? Then you're going to very simply offer to lock the prospect in at this price, right? So if it's a roofer and the price per qualified call was $100, you're gonna offer to lock the prospect in at this price. Give me a one if that makes sense. You understand how to technically do the benchmarking process now, and you will make yourself a whole lot more money and unfuck yourself starting from today.